Hi, I'm here today with Robert Allen, a huge mentor of mine. I've read so many of your books and you have been such a success mentor of mine. I've been able to use a lot of the principles that you teach and I thank you for that. Today I'd like you to talk to the parents of the children that were helping teach the money principles to and just give your input on maybe why it is something that t children should be learning rather than waiting until they're an adult to suddenly figure out about finances. So money. Uh, who taught you about money? Did you learn about it in school? No. Did you learn about it at church? No. Did you learn about it from your parents? Probably not. How are you doing with money? Now you may not need a lot of money. Maybe you've been successful and and uh, but most of the people I talk to are, are not very good at money. And they don't know how to make it because nobody ever taught them. And uh, your teachers don't teach in school. Why? Because a lot of them don't think money is good. They think people who have money are evil. So, unfortunately, the concept of money isn't taught, and it should be. Why? Because it's uh, it's the most it's it's not the most important thing in your life. It's not more important than your spiritual values. It's not more important than your health. It's not more important than your relationships. It's way down here and maybe number five. But if you if you don't figure out money. It will affect your relationships, it will affect your health, it will affect your jobs, uh, it might even affect your spiritual values. So money is extremely important and you need to teach your kids about money. You need to teach them at the very beginning how to enjoy money, how to have fun with money, how to, have, how to play games with money, how money can be a fun thing, not a thing that scares them when they get older, like it might have for you. So um, just my message is just, yeah, you've got to teach your kids.